Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to insert page numbers into your thesis so that they don't appear on the cover page. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can do it in a very straightforward fashion where you have essentially after the cover page it begins page one. Um, and that is all that's being asked of you as part of your thesis. However, there is sort of a more developed way that you often see followed in many books and a lot of dissertations you've probably seen as you've been reviewing your literature follow this format where essentially all the front matter content places where they list the abstract and the table of contents. In some cases, they have a list of figures or a list of tables or um, acknowledgments, those kinds of things. Often those will have um, lowercase Roman, uh, Roman numerals. And then once you get into the body of the document, so when you hit page, uh, the page that starts chapter one, that's where the page numbers will start. So I'll show you how to do both. Um, I'll show the simple one first, and which one you'd like to do is entirely up to you. So I've got a thesis draft open here uh, from one of my students, and uh, as you can see, basically I'm just on the cover page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into the insert area, I'm going to go page numbers, and the first thing I'm going to check is I'm going to make sure that this show number on first page is not checked. What that essentially does is that means that there will be no number on the first page of the document. So not the first number, but the first page of the document. So in this case, as you can see here, the first page of the document here underneath is Gino's cover page. Um, so by not having that checked, there will be no page number that shows up there. So now if I go into format, I've already got mine set at a default. So you'll see down here, you want to start at, and yours is probably set at one. What I'm gonna ask you to do is actually click on the down thing so it starts at zero. So by doing that, what happens is the first page of the document, because we've checked that or unchecked that item on the first box, there's going to be no page number that shows up on that. So page zero, or sorry, page zero is not going to show up. However, page one, which is in theory the second number that we're including, will show up and it'll show up on the second page of our document. So if I have that set to zero, I click OK here, making sure that this is still unchecked. I click OK here, and now if I scroll down, you'll see nothing on the cover page at all. But when I go down here, you will see I've got page one listed in um, my abstract, which that means that my table of contents starts on page two and finishes on page four right now, and the actual chapter starts on page five. So that's sort of a straightforward way of doing it. It's the easiest way of doing it, in all honesty, the way I would recommend. Now, there is another way of doing it. So let's go in, and I'm just going to click on this, and I'm going to delete our page numbering for now because I'm going to show you another way. So you'll notice right now there's a page break here. If you want to set up your um, document where you have different types of numbers throughout the document, you don't want to use a page break here. So I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go up into insert and instead of a page break, I actually want a section break. And because I want it to still be a page break, I'm going to have a section break next page. So by doing that, you'll see I've got a more defined break here. So it says section break next page. So essentially my cover page is one section and then my front matter content here is going to be the next section and then I'm going to have to do that same process again right here at the end of my front matter content. So I'm going to delete this page break and you'll see now my chapter one starts right away and I'm going to have to go back in and insert a section break next page. So you can see oh, let me hit enter here to move it down. So as you can see, my section break next page is at the end of my table of contents. So my chapter one starts a new section. Now, one of the things that you can do here is that essentially each of these sections you can number and you can number in different ways. So now if I go back into insert page numbers, in this case, I want to show the number on the first page because the first page now, at least for this section, is going to be the abstract. So if I go under format, I can 
set it up where I um, am going to start at 1. I'm not going to continue from previous section and I'm going to change it to these lowercase Roman numerals. So I'm going to add that in here and I'm going to insert it here. So what you'll see now, still no number on the cover page because that's in a different section, but here I've got number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, and then when I get down to this section, there's nothing. So now let me go to this section. So now I'm in the body of the chapter. I'm going to go and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to page numbers. I want to show it on the first page. I'm going to click on format. I want my numbers here now, and I'm going to start it at number one. I'm not going to continue from the previous section. So I click OK here, and I click OK here, and you'll see this section now has the number one whereas this section has Roman numeral 4 here. And I'll scroll back up and you can still see the cover page has no page number at all. So that's how you would go about creating your page numbers in here, at least within Microsoft Word, so that there is no page number on the cover page and that the first section, which is the abstract, will essentially start with either a Roman numeral one or for most of you I would imagine just the standard number one and continue on throughout.